Okay, everybody, welcome back. We have an epic show today. So everybody always asks with these things, how loud are they? Is it really that bad? Well, we're gonna take you out. We're gonna run a dB meter. So we're gonna make this, do, we're gonna do this scientifically. We're gonna drive down the same road, the same speed, try to get the same RPMs in four different cars. We're gonna do Dave's uh, 60 miles an hour down the highway with the dB meter. We're gonna put the dB meter between us, kind of right over the shifter so we get the same story for every car. We've got them, my car will do it. And then I've got a 2006 Mercedes E350. My wife just bought a Bronco, so we're gonna do four cars and we're gonna compare them. We'll see how much louder his is than mine. Um, his and mine, different. He's got the factory, factory five exhaust. Mine's a little bit quieter, um, but then he's got no insulation in it. So I guarantee you, I'll bet you his is 20, at least 15. I'm gonna go 15. Dave, any thoughts on that? Twice as loud. Okay, it's gonna be a hell of a lot louder. So let's hop in his car, let's go out and check it out, let's see what we get. I think this thing's gonna be outrageously loud, like ear piercing loud, but we'll find out in a few, so let's go. So I'm strapped in, Dave's strapped in to this rocket ship, and as you can see inside my ear, I've got earplugs, cause you need them for this thing. Hell, you need them for mine, so what's the difference, right? I'm gonna hold this probably right about like that, so that way it's in the exact same spot on all cars. That way it makes it scientific. Right? Doesn't that work? So let's get her going. Fire up. You want to tape it right here? Like zip tie it there? You can zip tie it there. Yeah, but I don't have anything else. I'm just going to hold it. Okay. I'm going to kind of hold it like this and put the camera on it. So, all right, here we go. So by the way, we're doing this in the uh, DBA format. Um, I don't know if it's better to do a B, C. We're going to do DBA and see what we get. So let's go. Fire it up.
shit, everybody. Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? Well, I'm saying it anyhow. Let me take these things out. So we were at about 107, 108, 60 miles an hour, fifth gear. I know my car, because I've checked it before, I'm in mid upper 90s at 80 miles an hour, 85 miles an hour on the way to Nevada. That was with an iPhone, so we're gonna try it with this. Um, but when he got on it, first gear, 126. That is outrageously loud. So this thing is a beast. Uh, so we're gonna hop in the Mercedes now, and we're gonna do the same thing in the uh, E350. So I'll be lucky if we get over 80 <laughs> so stay tuned we are now in the 2006 e350 look at this plush this is a grandpa car this is my grandpa car so right now at idle we are at it's like a freaking church in here <laughs> have you ever been to church how would you know So we're about 53 decibels right now in here at Idle, and that's with the AC running. So unbelievably quiet in here. It's literally like a church or a library. So hit it, Dave, let's go. Yeah, when I talk and then it goes way up, but other than that, it is quiet in here. <laughs> uh, we're having fun with this. It's still like a church in here. I gotta talk quiet. Everyone drives so slow in this neighborhood. Come on, guys. So we're going to call that 60 miles an hour, depending on which pothole he hits or where the road surface is, 68 to 72 decibels at 60 miles an hour. Pretty damn quiet. So we're going to go down a little bit further. He's going to get on it, and we'll see what we get it up to. This engine doesn't make a lot of noise because I've gotten on it before. It's pretty darn quiet. I'll be surprised if we add much at all. But uh, the car is pretty damn quiet. So he was on it there and I think second or third gear, it went up to probably low, mid 70s, that was it. So this thing is a cruiser, this is a quiet cruiser. The Bronco, we do that, that's gonna be a lot louder. I think got a lot of wind noise and everything. Okay, get on it. That was weak. So we're about 74 to 75 decibels, first gear, full on, hitting hitting it as hard as this thing will go. And it's pretty damn slow, by the way. But uh, that's it, so 75 we'll call it against Dave's 126. I would say that's pretty even, don't you? Okay, so we're gonna do the Bronco next. We're in the 2024 Bronco Badlands now. We got our uh, decibel meter, so we're gonna hit the exact same section of road. Yeah, you can say hi to Allie. Say hi, Allie. Okay. Um, exact same section road, exact same speed, and we'll see what decibel reading we get. So this should be interesting. You need waffles. And then you got waffles back there, okay? There. Okay, so I'll be on the highway here in a second. Okay, so here's our... Okay, we're trying to get up to 60, there's a little bit of traffic, so we're on the same section of road. Okay, what's our speed? Get up to 60. Slow down a little bit. There we go. 60. Okay, call it steady 60. So we're at 60 miles an hour, uh, low to mid 70 decibels. So it's actually not as loud as I thought. Uh, I thought it was gonna be a lot louder than that because this thing's not exactly quiet. There's wind noise, tire noise, uh, this is the Badlands with 33 inch all terrains. So, but not bad. Are you done? Okay, jump on it. Four to the foot to the floor, all the way. Whoa, that's pretty fast. Okay, so the Bronco at full throttle, and I don't know what gear it is because this thing's got like 10 of them, was about 84.1. My speaking was actually, it's actually pretty quiet in here. So, there you go. So, now we're going to go home. I'll get the Daytona out. We'll do the exact same thing and see what we get with my car. I guarantee it won't be this quiet. 
we're in the Daytona now, we're in the coupe. Uh, we're gonna go out and hit the same such section of highway that we did with the Mercedes, the Bronco, and Dave's and see what we get. And then we'll flip a Yui and come back and we'll get on and see what our max is. So stay tuned. Videotape it. Okay, so we're getting near the highway now. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Can you actually see it? Yep. once the engine's warmed up and out of the cold start loudness. Not bad. Oh, cause that's mid, hold on here. Thanks for watching the video everybody so let's go over the data uh, mercedes the quietest by far i mean that thing is church quiet but actually the bronco i was pretty impressed with that because a lot of people say it's so loud in there you can't even talk blah 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 not true that thing's actually pretty darn quiet um, the thing you know that car was loud we saw 120 decibels full throttle in my car dave's was 126 
Uh, mine 118 was the second pull we did. Uh, so where the two decimals, who knows, probably just variations, whatever. Uh, shows you the repeatability is pretty good. But the thing you notice in the video, when I'm in Dave's car trying to talk over the sound of the car, you have to yell. Mine, you don't. Uh, so you can really tell that that just that extra 10, you know, eight, nine, 10 decibels is huge. Um, as I said, his was 126. Uh, at Cruz going down the highway at 60, he was 108. I was about 105th gear, and once I dropped it into sixth, I was down at mid 90s. So huge difference. I mean, mid 90s compared to 108, eh, that's twice as loud, over twice as loud. So definitely a huge difference. Now, granted, I've got carpet in mine, I've got some insulation, not a ton, but enough. Uh, he's got nothing. It's just aluminum panels. Um, definitely his engine's probably louder. Mine's more high strung. That thing revs. You know, I think I took it to 7,500 in one of those pulls in first gear. Um, so pff, there you got it. This is all the data, everybody. This is what we've got. Now you see what they're like inside. They're loud. And even if you try to do your best to quiet them down, which I have done, uh, another thing that I've got is I've got full side windows. He does it. Uh, so is that the extra 10 decibels? Mm, I don't know. I don't really notice a whole lot of difference between the window open and the window closed. Maybe if I took the whole window off because that thin Lexan plexiglass doesn't do a lot. So thanks again for watching. Hopefully everybody finds this one interesting because it was fun to film. Just kind of get an idea how loud these other cars are. So uh, appreciate it to hit that subscribe, subscribe button and we will keep these videos coming at you. Don't know when the next one will be. Oh, wait. I did paint the stripes. Just so you know, I got tired of the wrap. Uh, you know, the wrap looks good, but these things, I mean, if you can see, it's buried under the clear. I've got about three heavy coats of clear on that, and the stripes, you know, there's no, no line there. It's buried under the clear. That's the way I like to do it. A lot of extra work, big pain in the butt, but yeah, so this is the way the car is gonna be. I was gonna put the orange, like there, the dark blue, like the Gulf livery on the sides, but I'm liking just the blue and the orange with no third color. I may just leave it this way for a while. Then if I get bored, I'll throw the blue on, or maybe even white. I don't know, we'll see. But I can always, you know, put the uh, adhesive vinyl striping on and pull it back off. But then I'm back to not being buried under the clear, so, but I can change it. So thanks again and talk to you later.